Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon or evening, depending on where you're at. I have been requested a couple of times, but most recently by Alvine Green, to show my witchy kit, my witchy bag, my witchy kit. Um, I had purchased this bag. This is a vintage bag, and I believe it's from 1950s. Um, I love that it's rainbow. I love that it's carpeted. I, I just love so many things. But I purchased this when we were here in Washington State, and we were thrift shop shopping and antiquing and um, house hunting. When we were house hunting, I got this in um, La Conner, Washington, in a little shop called, I believe it's the... Oh, I can't even remember now. It's I think it has something to do with ravens. Anywho got this bag, saw this bag, and had to have it. Absolutely had to have it. It has some leather, beautiful leather, has some nice grommets in the front, very sturdy, and then like a little, little thing here. Now, I use this witch kit um, when I have people that need clearings or it's like spell bag to go. <laughs> My bug out kit for spells is that that's what it is. So um, I will show you what's in the bag. I just restocked it, but as you can see, really nice leather on the inside. Love it. And then it has like a little zipper thing in the middle, which I have all different kinds of things in. Um, right now I have my my cinnamon stick um, pencil so that I can write I can't I'm not showing it right sorry cameras acting funny I have my cinnamon stick uh, pencil that I um, write down things um, and we burn them on parchment um, I have don't I don't have any parchment in here but I do have parchment available which is generally parchment there you go so I put some parchment in there and uh, depending on what kind of stuff we've got to do that's what I that's what I use I've got a little bag of mirrors a long long time ago when I was first to the craft um, I learned to use mirrors from sunshine morning ray um, after you um, clear your house cleanse your house you can um, pop one of the you lay down your salts you pop one of these mirrors um, outward facing um, to confuse spirits so that you're not easily tracked that's a that's a thing so I have a little bag of mirrors I have various candles I'll just put it all over here so you guys can see it there you go various candles of various colors and then obviously the black and the white candles because those go simultaneously the black to um, absorb negative energy and the white for protection along with whatever candle the client or friend needs and uh, coordinates or associates with use that I've got my little candle abra I know isn't it cute I know <laughs> It's adorable. It's adorable. So I put my white and then I put my black and then the candle, uh, the color that they want in the middle. Otherwise, what I would do is just get a, like a plate and I would um, melt the wax at the bottom of the candle and then put it on the, the plate and sometimes put the salts or the herbs around there. <clears throat> I have more cinnamon because sometimes I actually lay cinnamon um, down I burn it sometimes or I I lay it down in the um, in the windows it, it really depends or I could I'll put it you know how next to a door there's a um, usually like a little garden bed or something like that I'll like stick the cinnamon in there for protection do that let's see what else I have in here I have orange blossom water this is great for anointing windows, and it also has carnelian in there, um, orange blossom water. For anointing, I have my smudgeless, or what is it, smokeless um, sage spray for uh, cleansing, cleansing clearing spray. 
I oftentimes have my Palo Santo frankincense spray as well, but I don't think I have that in the pouch today. Okay, so there's that. And then I've got my big bubble quartz. Frankincense. Brick dust. I've got my witch's black salt that I make, which this actually, the black is uh, from my um, fires from Ritual. Um, and the charcoal from it, and then also shungite. I have shungite in here um, also to remove negative energy, get rid of that junk. I have my cinnamon clove salt. Um, this is great for protecting financials. Um, sprinkle in the floor mats of your car. You can sprinkle it in your home if you wanted to, if you're needing to protect that. Um, I People that... Um, Put it on their money altars, you know, sprinkle it around their money altars uh, or put a little dish of it in their, uh, on their money altar, that's a thing. And then I have just my regular protection salt. This is just a general protection salt and it has uh, rosemary, it has bay leaf, and it has sage in it. And it is blessed salt. Um, I like to use the kosher salt because it's already been blessed and I'm like, why am I fighting something? So anyhow, that's it. And I, then I've got a penny. Looks like there's a penny in here. And one little penny. It was at the bottom. A little crusty penny. I'll leave that in there. It was cool. It was face up. Um, and that's it. That's my little, that's my little to-go witch bag. Um, now I'll pack it back up. So <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video. That is my witch on the go, bug out, spell on the go bag. There you go. Many blessings, you guys. Have a great day.